The woolly mammoths, an elephant species of the size of the African elephant, roamed the northern hemisphere for about 250,000 years. Their extinction have inspired researchers to create the most fantastic stories and ideas. To understand this mystery, we have studied a wide variety of articles and papers. The most popular theory at the moment is that of the Younger Dryas Impact Hypothesis. Without going too deeply into this popular theory, we can prove with ease that this so-called comet impact event was not responsible for anything significant. That is because the temperature dip that is often shown, when presenting this theory, is shown on a too short time frame. You must step back to a larger scale to see the bigger picture. Because when we look at a time frame of 100,000 years, we see multiple dips of the same size. And because large comet impacts are extremely rare, it is easy to understand why the YD theory is 100% false. Comets have always been popular for all sorts of reasons. They are used to explain the extinction of dinosaurs, the disappearance of ancient civilizations, and also to the extinction of the woolly mammoth. It's probably because most people are fascinated by boom events. Boom events are simple, because they are a point in time, and so it is easy to understand what was before and what was after. Most complicated processes, however, do not work this way. Our theory of Earth crust deformation show that they took place over tens of thousands of years, and slowly disrupt everything that lives on our planet. During an Earth crust deformation event it is possible that a comet impacts the Earth or that massive solar flares bombard our planet. This mix of events can very much complicate the analyses of what exactly happened. Scientists, as well as most people, are in general fund of monodisciplinary ideas. No other disciplines have to be involved. Not too much thinking, or further research is needed. The solution is there to grasp. One small research area that solves large-scale problems, seems to be very popular. That is why science, with their pillarization, seems not very capable to solve the bigger questions of life. And that is also why debunking is so popular, because a theory that is about to be debunked covered only an event partially, and so it can always be debunked. Mathematics, as the queen of science, covers the whole field, and does not exclude any of the materialistic events in advance. That is why a mathematical-based theory stands the test of time. The basis of our theory is mathematical, and we always think in patterns when we extend our theory. A short introduction to our method. We have discovered that Earth crust deformations were real. The geographic North Pole has moved quite significantly, while the geographic South Pole remained at a fairly steady position. The mechanism that caused this migration of the geographic North Pole is most probably expansion of our planet. We are still researching all the patterns to be sure about our claims, and how old the expansions actually are. If you listen to expansionists like Neil Adams or James Maxlow you will learn that they proclaim that the expanding Earth stretches over a time frame of about 120 million years. They have used paleomagnetic data for this. But we say without hesitation that paleomagnetic data cannot be used, because this data is merged based on a constant radius, so it cannot be used for another purpose such as an expanding planet. We have found clues that the expanding Earth is much younger than anyone had ever thought it could be possible. What drives this expansion? We will cover this in another patron special. Back to the mysterious flash frozen woolly mammoth of Siberia. By the way, there were even larger mammoth species than the woolly mammoth, for example one that is called Paleoloxodon nematicus. This species was almost twice the height of the woolly mammoth. Its weight was an incredible 24 tons, about four times heavier than the today's African bush elephant, which is the heaviest living land animal today. Not to speak of the even more massive Argentinosaurus, weighing almost 100 tons in nowadays gravity, or the Tyrannosaurus rex, or the flying dinosaur, the Pterosaurus, the size of a school bus. Why did all the massive land animals became extinct? The most simple answer is as simple as incredible, gravity has increased, because the Earth has grown. The largest animals of the past, that capture our imagination, could not support their own weight due to the growing mass of the Earth, and so became extinct. Many of the other smaller animals simply evolved into better adapted species to the slowly changing environment. And these growing cycles are much more recently than anyone ever held possible. Of course is it possible that during one of these growing cycles a meteorite hit the Earth? 
and we all know that these sudden events get the most attention, while they have the least impact on the long term. Over the last few centuries it became clear that millions of mammoths were caught by a massive cold wave. This inspired Charles Hapgood, who took the idea of Earth crust shifts to new level, to believe that sudden shifts, within a matter of days, could be possible. Hapgood was on a very interesting track regarding crustal deformations, that we again took to another level, but Hapgood's take on the very sudden shifts was wrong. This idea also, can be brought back to boom events. Short events that people can easily understand, but are not necessarily true. It is clear that the mammoths were caught in a massive cold wave. How do we match this with our very slow earth crust deformations? If the crust was moving over tens of thousands of years, the animal could easily migrate, isn't it? Yes, that is indeed the case. So, what exactly happened? What have we discovered in our research that might solve this immense mystery? The answer to this question is only available for patrons. I know that you might not like this choice, however, our work is highly controversial and so actively opposed. If you've delved a little bit into ancient history, you'll know that most of the buildings are built on older foundations. Our method uses the orientation patterns of these ancient foundations. And this powerful method, performed on a massive, worldwide scale, is what the elite don't want you to know. You can become my patron and learn more interesting things that we already have published and new discoveries that we will publish in the future. Thank you for watching.